The school board unanimously approved her request to stay on paid leave through the rest of the year, and the school year just got started. Norelli Jayswal reports from Lufkin. Lufkin ISD board members voted yes for Superintendent Lynn Torres to receive 10 months of paid leave until retirement. But I believe it is in the best interest of this district, it is the best interest of this teacher, of the teachers and the students to move forward and to grant the request for leave. This decision came after Torres was criticized for using school funding to pay for a Prince cover artist at convocation. Former high school counselor Calvacia Summers says she was at the convocation. We might create a little controversy. She said unlike previous years, students weren't allowed. Teachers received an email beforehand stating that before this concert started, every student and every child of a teacher or any staff member had to leave the room. She added teachers weren't allowed to leave either and the performance was inappropriate. It was hostage. It was for torture. She went on to say that not only did it cost the teachers time, but it also cost the school unnecessary money. In a preliminary budget presented earlier this month, the budget had a 5.7 million deficit and they had 2.1 million in increased expenses. The board believed we needed someone else to leave the district given the budget issues we face. The amount used to pay for that concert is under investigation. That money could have went towards sending more kids to barber school. The money could have went towards staff development. The money could have went towards our custodians. So it shouldn't take an investigation to find out how much it costs, who signed off, etc. Now the district is on the hook for Superintendent Torres's salary until her resignation date arrives. In Lufkin, I'm Narali Jaiswal with CBS 19. The school board appointed Kurt Stevens as interim superintendent. Torres says she'll be available when needed during her paid leave.